Not an awful lot of time left. You're running out of time and you need to challenge. It doesn't look like it's raining. Ball's in your court, really, isn't it? Well, it's true. Uh, the first day today, we've, we've had some transmission issues, which we've had to change now. We're having to, we're having to learn to drive scratching my stomach and rubbing my head at the same time because I have to shift up with my, I mean, down with my paddle and up with my lever which is not the way it's meant to be. So it's a little bit of excitement. But the tight stage, the one right over above Dunedin, um, where I thought we'd really struggle with against the four-wheel drives, we were only a second behind Glenn. So that was quite good. The last second, last stage, I still think we would have lost time to him, although we, we think we came through there quite a bit quicker than we had. We made up, we nearly caught Martin through there. So, you know, that was 30 kilometers, we'd nearly caught him. So, um, you know, we're doing okay, you know. As long as we don't do anything stupid, as long as we can keep the gearbox to hold up till the end, that's going to be the next challenge. Well, you know, right now we're just trying to stay consistent and not overly push too hard because I mean, we're not going to catch Glenn unless he makes a mistake and we've got a big gap over the rest of the field. So, you know, the goal now is just to hold the car together and stay to the end and, you know, maybe, you know, fortune will fall our way and Glenn will have a little bit of a problem, get a flat or something. Don't want him, don't want him to crash. Just want him to, a flat tyre would be nice just to let us catch up. You haven't thought of having a word in his ear and trying to psych him out yet? No, but I'm not beyond trying to bribe him. I guess I could go over and offer him a bit of cash, see if he'd just want to slow down for a little while. What's it going to cost, Gavin, do you think, in terms of bribes? <laughs> I'll get a good co-driver, so it cost him a hell of a lot, I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> the moment, the pressure is just making sure we do everything right so that we keep the car reliable. Um, we have some margin to play with, which means that at a time, if, if a stage is not going well, sometimes you can't, re it's undescribable, it's about the flow of a stage, and if it's not working for you, we have an advantage so that we can back off. When it's working for us, we push on. And we did in the last stage and it was Watch a blast. the inertia, buddy. Don't want the back to pass the front. Okay, here we go. Be nice. When you get that Gone bit of margin around, and a wee around, bit of comfort, around, that's generally when you make the errors, isn't it? Um, yeah, although every, every, between stages I'm thinking of Gilly last year at uh, seven minutes and broke down, you know, like countless motorsport stories where the guys way out in front should be easy and it's not. You know, Richard Mason broke a gearbox on the power stage of NZRC Rally when he had a, a ginormous lead. So you can't get complacent because complacency will cost us this event and we're not going to be complacent. So what do you do to keep yourself on task? Um, just, just think about all those things that can go wrong and make sure we don't do them and don't make stupid mistakes. Well, hey, it's a five day event so we've decided to try and go for the, the reliability out of it. It's not the fastest car but we're doing a good job. wasn't expecting to be third by now, you know. We just thought we'd hang in there until, until Saturday and um, see where we were, but I'm pretty happy. Uh, we're just going to keep on pushing like we are. We can't catch these guys, they've got some, pretty, some, some rockets in front of us, but um, we'll keep pushing, keep them honest because you can't back out of it, you've got you to still push along. So. Reliability is going to be a big thing and we think we have a package to get to it, you know, it's a bit like Bathurst, you know, those guys who won that, they were certainly at the back.